What's up and welcome back to the Metal Hip Car Show. Every year we get the list of cars worth waiting for, and sometimes it's cars that are absolutely coming out that we already know about, sometimes it's things we're seeing for the very first time, and sometimes it's kind of oddball picks that who knows if they're actually going to happen. And I slide this one into the oddball pick and who knows. But I want to look at the rumored Ford Mustang Raptor. Yes, to join the family of the F-150 Raptor, the upcoming Ranger Raptor, and the Bronco Raptor, the Ford Mustang. So I think it's pretty weird, but I do think it could possibly work. So let's get right into it. So what's being speculated? What's being speculated is a new S650 Mustang that'll be ready for the 2026 model year that's gonna have a 500 horsepower, five liter V8, and a 10 speed automatic. Along with that, it's going to have a 2-inch lift on it, some meteor tires for off-roading, a price tag of about $90,000, likely American, and a further rumored Mustang Raptor R, which will be a Raptor Mustang with the GT500 engine, whatever that ends up being. So, why is it weird? I think it's a weird choice because Ford kind of canned all car models in North America a while ago. So for the one they still have, making a trim level that's going to be so niche and it's made for such a small market is just a very odd choice. Had they made that on the Mach-E platform, I would kind of get it, it'd make a little more sense, but making it on the real Mustang chassis, yeah, it's weird to me. But why would it possibly work? Well, you do have Lamborghini coming out with their Cerato Huracan, and you do have Porsche coming out with their 911 Dakar. So there is some sort of market being made for off-roading sports cars. And you have things like Roadkill, where over the years they've taken things like Chargers, Challengers, Corvettes, Marty Carlos off-roading. They have may have made some sort of trend of off-roading muscle cars. Whether if it's a trend or they just sort of popularized the idea of it, I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, I think they have some sort of credit into making this happen. And if Ford did this with the Mustang, I absolutely guarantee you, you'd definitely see a Dodge Charger or Challenger or whatever EV muscle car they're gonna be running in the foreseeable future, have a off-roading variant made for it just to compete with the Mustang. So it could work. Now, before I say this, I know this is all a rumor status, so who knows if this is actually correct. But what's being said, it's gonna have a five liter, 500 horsepower V8. That is one I wanna actually look into a little bit. Because as it stands, the standard Mustang GT makes about 460 horsepower, and the engine that was used in the Bullet Mustang and the Mach 1 makes about 475, 478, or this much. So if any of these rumors end up being true, that 500 horsepower number tells me one of two things. Either A, it's be using the dark horse engine, which is super cool, or B, the upcoming Mustang GT is gonna be increased to having 500 horsepower, which I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem with. So let's go over it. Is the weird move? Yes. Do I think it'll flop? No. Is there a market for it? Yes. Lamborghini and Porsche have kind of developed the market. Do I think this is gonna be a hit? I don't know. I think you're seeing a lot of people kind of get it for having the novelty of having a off-roading Mustang, but I think there's very, very few people generally looking for a off-roading muscle car. You have things like Local Motors, which is doing what felt like lifted Corvettes, which it wasn't, but it kind of felt like that. So there has been some demand for it, but in a mass scale point of view, I generally don't know. I think this could work. I don't think it'd be a huge success, but I think if Ford actually does this, it would actually be a really cool thing to see come out. But what, what, what do you think? Do you want to see off-roading muscle cars be a thing we're actually going to see on the road? Or do you think it's incredibly gimmicky and there is no point in doing this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you've seen. I post on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.